Hi, everybody. My name's Ashley. I've been doing a channel called Think to Rethink about learning your thinking pattern of what God's word, the truth, and being set free from the wrong mindset, from the wrong upbringing, from the worldly ways, and transforming your thinking into the truth to align with God's perfect will for your life, which is in his word. So, um, I've been doing a series on godly spouses, and there's just been so much on my heart lately it's just been so overwhelming I've just been writing down like when I'm at work and stuff like that I've been writing down as I'm working <laughs> and on lunch and um anytime I get a second I've just been writing and writing and writing so I just have like all these notes I've been writing so I've been trying to gather them together and put them in the correct order and dive a little deeper into what we've been talking about so the last video I did uh I think it, oh yeah, the last video, God's design for marriage is to point um, your spouse to God more. You guys both point to God more. The triangle where God's at the top and your spouse and you are, are equal on the sides and pointing to God. That's what a godly marriage does, point you to the Lord more. So this one is going to be wait on God's timing. Why should we wait on God's timing? The importance of it, right? I've done some videos on the perfect timing. God has perfect timing for us and stuff like that. But I just kind of wanted to add a little bit to the Godly Spouse uh, series that I've been doing. Um, for you to wait on God's timing for the one that he has for you is very important. Because if you don't, you can get out of his will. And you can just marry somebody that you want to marry. And it's not going to benefit the kingdom of God. And it's not going to give him glory. And it's not going going to contribute to conform you to christ um god will still use those things don't get me wrong because all things work for good for those who love god and are called according to his purpose he works our will to work out for his ultimate purpose that he's created us for and stuff he turns it for good and um he, he conforms us to his son through those things and stuff like that don't get me wrong through everything he can use because he's God and he has the, he has um the before we do it he knows what's going to happen before he knows everything right he knows the beginning to the end he's Alpha and Omega um he's the author and finisher of our faith but if you wait on God's timing and don't just choose a spouse then you can save yourself a lot of heartache, setback, um, confusion, uh, just, just ultimately just waste of time, right? Because it will probably come, it will more likely come to an end or it will hold you back from becoming your full potential in Christ. So it's very important for you to be patient and wait on God's timing for uh, the one that he has for you. A godly spouse for you if you are waiting on God's best and I say this to born again believers who are Christians who are waiting on God's best for in a spouse for them because not everyone's gonna wait on God's best or they're already married and stuff like that God can work those things out still like that um there's nothing too big or too small for God nothing is impossible with God all things are possible with God so he can work he can work in your life still um, if you chose your own path and stuff like that, he can make good out of it. That's, that's what he says in his word. And it's the truth. He's done it so many times in my life. It's incredible. So wait on God's timing. Okay. If you're waiting, um, during your singleness, if you're waiting for God's, uh, best for you, it's very important that you don't awaken love before it's time. The Bible says this songs of songs two seven. This is the message Bible. I really am trying to dive deeper into the Word of God, so I've been uh, studying the Message Bible a little more. Oh, let me warn you, the Bible verse says, sisters in Jerusalem, by the gazelles, yes, by all the wild deer, don't excite love, don't stir it up until the time is ripe and you're ready. So don't get ahead of God. Don't get out of alignment in your walk that God has the perfect timing for you don't go off on your own uh 
excitement or adventure and awaken love that is not even supposed to be your love. It's not even supposed to be your love or it's not your time to love. It will come. I've heard so many testimonies on uh, from godly spouses about God's timing and how it worked out for them and stuff and how it was just incredible how it just flowed naturally and how they didn't have to do like all the efforts and like it, it just it just magically appeared like appeared in place for them and stuff and they didn't have to force it or anything like that and I say this in other videos if it's for you and it's from God it will flow and if it's not, it, you kind of have to force it and stuff, then you might want to think twice. It's probably not God's timing and it's probably not for you. Um, so you might want to be careful and not get out of God's will that he has for you, the plans that he has for you. Don't get into your own desires and your own... Um, it, don't go off into your own acknowledgement and stuff like that. Many are the plans in the man's heart, but it's the, wor the Lord's will that prevails. There's a Bible verse that says that. Meaning we create all these plans and stuff, but ultimately it's just going to be God's plans that succeed. It's not going to be our plans. Our plans we have to be careful with because it will probably take us down the wrong path. And then we'll waste time in them and stuff like that. And then finally we get back on to and God will make good out of it and stuff. And we'll get back onto his plans. But we could prevent a lot of heartache, a lot of setbacks, a lot of detours, a lot of time wasted, a lot of um, just unsuccessful efforts and stuff like that unsuccessful like in vain we can protect we can prevent that if we just follow god's plans right if we just seek his counsel above all and we wait on his timing and we trust that he has the best for us because he does and we wait on his timing so the bible says also there's a season for everything there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. It, it talks about there's this, there's a time to die and a time to live, a time to sow, a time to reap, a time to cry. Um, just uh, there's a season for everything. Uh, God has great plans for us, guys. He knows what is best for us and the perfect timing for those plans to occur to happen right for us to get um each thing along the way in his perfect timing he knows so he knows when we're ready for it that's very important we don't know we don't know when we're ready for something we can say we're ready for something doesn't mean we're truly ready for it right we can think that we know that we're ready but we really don't like god knows the future and he knows what it holds and he knows what we need to uh, be successful and to make it through that so that's why we don't know so jeremiah 29 11 niv says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future so he has plans for us he has a future for us plan and he has hope in that future and not to not to harm us right not to steer us wrong, not to give us something that's going to take us away from him or destroy us or destroy someone else. Like he has the ultimate perfect plans for us. A great, a great plan. Getting something for yourself instead of waiting on God's timing will not last. It won't last and it won't be success as successful and it won't be as prosperous and it won't bear fruit like he has for us like the plans that he has for us when we follow those plans that is the best version of us that's the best life path that we could take is god's plans that he has for us we'll either mess it up if we get out of god's timing we'll we'll definitely mess it up because we won't be ready for it or it will just go to waste like we'll waste so many time like we'll waste so many years doing it and stuff and it just will be in vain it will be unsuccessful it will, it, it will be unrewarding like it will be meaningless it'll be a dead end if we're outside of his plans um being married doesn't make you whole or complete remember that like we're not made whole or complete. Only Jesus makes us whole. Only Jesus makes us whole. So, some people are trying to do things in their own time to um, 
find their godly spouse, uh, pursue their godly spouse, and they're looking in all the wrong places because it's out of season, it's out of time. So then, therefore, when you do that, you're going to attract the wrong person, right? So you could be doing that for selfish reasons if you're if you're trying to get out of God's timing and stuff. You could be trying to get into a, a relationship for the wrong reasons just because you see everyone else is in a relationship. So you believe that you need one. Um, you have the desire because um, you want that person to work and help take care of things. Your responsibilities and stuff is too... It's too heavy like you have too many heavy responsibilities so you need some burden lifted like uh, there can be numerous reasons you feel insecure about certain things and stuff so you're seeking someone that can fulfill that um, and give you security and stuff like that you're seeking all this stuff and human people and it's just not going to fulfill you because a human cannot fulfill you and make you whole uh, a human's gonna disappoint you. There's just that's just too high of expectations on humans. We're imperfect. Um, the only person that can make us whole and to fill that void that we feel like we're longing after something more is Jesus, because we we were designed to find our Creator and to fill that void, to fill that hole. And when you're not with your Creator. And when you're not living the best life that you can with him and for him and being used by your creator to do what you were created to do, then you have this void in you, this longing for more. Like this can't be it. This, this is, this can't be it. There's got to be more and stuff like that. And honestly, that's because you're looking to fill it in the wrong things. You, you need Jesus. But you're looking into worldly things. You're looking into working harder. You think if you get a raise that it's going to help uh, fill that void. You think if you get in a relationship, a marriage, it's going to fill that void. You think maybe if you have children, it's going to fill that void because you'll be loved and you can love them and stuff like that. And it's not true, guys. You guys are going to do those things and you're going to get to the end of that um, goal. And then you're going to be like, what? You're going to want more and more and more and more because you're looking in the wrong things to fill that void. Only Jesus can fill that void. So a spouse is not going to make you whole. So that's why you need to wait on God's timing because your heart might not be ready. You might have the wrong intentions and your heart. God needs to still work in your heart and change you and to build the character and to develop you. So you're not getting with someone for the wrong reasons. So you have more clarification, awareness, um, just fruit you're bearing. So God is developing you for what's next, okay? There's a reason for the waiting season, just like there's a reason for any season, right? So when a farmer goes out and plants seeds and uh, those crops are going to grow, right? Well, does that crops, do the crops grow really fast? No. Does the crops grow in the farmer's timing? No. The crops grow when the season is ready for them to be complete, completely grown out, right? And for them to be harvest. The crops grow on their own timing. Through the seasons, they get watered. They get sunlight. They have to grow, right? Just like us. We have to get developed. We have to get developed for what God has for us, for the plans that he has for us. We have to be ready. He wants to equip us. He wants us to be ready for it. He, He's not going to give us something that we're not ready for, that is going to be too heavy to carry. He's going to develop us so that we can get to the point where it's harvesting, like the crops. The crops are growing. Like we're growing in development as God is working in our hearts through waiting season until he has our godly spouse for us until he has the perfect timing. It could be anything. We're I'm just so often like I'm just so happen to be doing a godly spouse series right now. So that's why I'm talking about godly spouses waiting on God's timing. But it could be for anything that he has for us. It could be for the ministry that he has for us that he's called us to do. Everything has to start out as a seed and it has to get watered and it has to get uh, nurtured by the sun and it, it has to grow. And then there'll be a time when it's time to harvest that there'll be fruit from that. There'll, there'll be something like, you, like, you, like you'll be reaping from, 
from what you have sowed, that seed. But everything takes time in development. And the more that you, I say practice makes it progress now, because the more you practice at something, the more you develop yourself and the more stronger you get in that area. And the same thing with God's timing. The more that you allow God to work on you and you focus on God and allow God to develop the characteristics of his son Jesus Christ in you and bear fruit and just just go through it. You know what I mean? Go through the past of what happened to you. Like things that you don't need to take into a godly marriage. Things that are not going to benefit your spouse. Things that you need to get rid of. Things that you need to learn so you can be a better spouse whenever that time comes for you to meet your godly spouse. Like, there's so many things that you need to work on here and now. So that's why God's timing is very important and for you to honor his time. Uh, you need to honor his timing because he knows the best plans for us. We can go off and get into our own thing like I've said many of times. But it is God's timing that is the best timing for us because then he'll know when we're ready for that next step. And uh, so then as you, let's see, for, I'm sorry, first Peter two, 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 chapter two, two, three, like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it, you may grow up in your salvation how that now that you have tested that the Lord is good so like spiritual milk so you may ha grow up in your salvation so it takes time to grow in after you get salvation it takes time to grow and by doing that by reading the word of God and allowing God to work in your life in prayer and seeking the Lord and it's it, it's growing you you're growing spiritual you're 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 getting you're getting to the better you, the best version of you. Better, better, better. Glory to glory, God says we go with him. So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him. Rooted and built up in him. Strengthened in the faith as you were taught. And overflowing with thankfulness. So you need to continue to live your lives in him. Rooted and built in him. Rooted. So when something is rooted in something, they're getting nutrition and stuff, right? They're rooted into the ground. It's just like a tree. It has to be rooted or it's going to fall over or it's not going to be able to grow and have branches or anything like that. It won't be alive. So we need to root ourselves in God. God's word. We need to root ourselves in him. Sorry, I'm hitting the phone. It's bouncing up and down. I'm trying not to make the video too long, okay? So I'm just going to say one, a couple more things. You preserve yourself for God's best for you when you wait on God's timing. You're preserving you for the best that the best spouse God has for you, for your godly spouse that he has for you. You're preserving, you're waiting. You're not wasting. You're not letting people get pieces of you. You're preserving yourself for God's best. You can be developed and ready for God's best if you wait on his timing. So when you wait on his timing, you can be developed and you can be ready for your godly spouse whenever he or she comes in the Lord's perfect timing. So I just wanted to make a video on God's timing and how important it is not to get outside of God's timing. Um, how to walk in tune with God. Walk and step with God and don't get out of alignment and and fall out of step with God. Don't get ahead of God and don't try to go to the sidelines or anything like that. Um when you know it's just not it's just not his timing. And the more you walk with God, the longer you walk with God and the experience the awe moments and just have all these things revealed to you then the more you you can trust God and you know that his timing is the best timing and you don't want to you, you you don't want to run, run around the mountain like Joyce Meyer says or run around in the same 
toxic cycle because you know the outcome like that's insanity insanity is i believe the definition is doing the same old thing but expecting a different outcome like you just don't want it anymore you know that you came to your own undoing in those certain areas and then you're surrendered to god and you you're just waiting on his timing and yeah he's got the best timing guys so don't try to awaken love. Don't try to force it. Don't try to make it happen. Don't try to fit someone in your life whenever it's not the fit for you. It's not who God has for you. It's not God's best plans for you. Like, seek the Lord. Prayer. And just study, study, study. And pray. And just be willing to wait. No matter how long it is, just wait and trust the Lord. Because He knows best for you. I love you all and I just wanted to make this video. Um, sorry it's a little long. It's not as long as the 30 minute one the other day. But yeah, until next time, we'll dive more into godly spouses. I think I'll keep this series going until I have it on my heart to change and do something else. Alright guys, I love you. Have a great night. Bye.